Mm, you know, I've already I've taken some tablets for it, but I've already got a headache because it's a really hot day today, and uh, heat headaches kind of go hand in hand. And you know what else is a headache? Physical media, because they keep ruining it for Australians. Oh my god. News news has it that the, uh, or at least rumour has it, that Sony's pulling out. The 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 big one. <laughs> the, the, the people I don't buy Blu-ray players from anymore because, let's be honest, I don't like their Blu-ray players anymore. They're pulling out physical media as of early 2024, hence why apparently there's no pre-orders for any Sony titles. I hadn't personally noticed because... I keep forgetting to actually look at the JB website and realize, oh, okay, so that's what's happening. That's coming out this week, okay, you know. But it's, I'm on those pages on the Facebooks, and uh, I go with Reddit, let's be honest. I don't want to go on Reddit. And so recently it was posted that more potential bad news for Aussie physical media collectors. Sony uh, reports are saying that Sony Picture Home Entertainment is pulling out of Australia in 2024 which explains why there are no pre-orders showing after December 31st. With many of the major studios leaving the Australian market behind, JB Hi-Fi will reportedly stop stocking movies and TV shows sometime in 2020. Oh, okay, that actually just made it worse. I didn't know that part. I have a friend who is a manager of JB and she says there are no plans on se uh, to stop selling physical media in their stores. Well, that's good enough. The whole post, uh, but that whole post that got sh shared is BS. We get the release date sent to us from our stores with Subculture Entertainment and physical media is still listed for their release dates on Sony Media's portal. Okay. Maybe not then. It's, it's concerning. It's... I guess this is a decent roundup, though, at least. Uh, rumor has it. Look, I don't stick lit of rumors. I just saw it and was like, i got to make a video on this. Because last time we had this, it was Films at Home had done a video talking about how Disney had pulled out of Australia. And then, of course, within the week, it had been confirmed. They weren't just pulling out. They weren't releasing anything after Guardians 3. You go now to JB Hi-Fi, look in store. Guardians is gone. It's not there on the website. It's not there in store. It's gone. Unless you're uber lucky and they haven't gotten rid of the stock yet, then it's done. It's out. I any film that's new that, that you want that's maybe a big budget movie that's something... I can't even say art house anymore because we get like A24 films on DVD. We don't even get Blu-rays of A24 films anymore. Like unless... Unless there's something special about them or they get some kind of unique release here in Australia, which very rarely happens. Like, I know Bo is Afraid got a Blu-ray, but then, like, um, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies didn't. That got a DVD release, and Past Lives got a DVD. I've ordered the, U the US edition for, like, 30 bucks, even though for $20 I could get the DVD, but I don't want to get a fucking DVD. So, this is, I guess, a look at that just how... How kind of awful it is to be a physical media collector in Australia. I know this is what actually made my channel become more popular. A lot more people found it because, of course, me yelling at Disney, which I still, I'm still, i still on board for, let's be fair. I've only done a few of their pre-orders for their newer releases, the new NAI Jones film, for example. I'm excited for, Av for I was going to say Avatar. I was excited for Aliens on 4K and what was that other one? True Lies, because I like Cameron, I like James Cameron films, you know, um, and yeah, it's, it's, I, I had to order them from the UK, uh, through, I've ordered Indiana Jones through Dead and DVD, because there are still local people who are importing, so I'm doing that. I could have gone with, like, Amazon and whatever, but also, like, I prefer to support some Australian, but also, I don't like getting shit from Amazon UK, they usually rank up the prices a lot and it sucks. Like my brother wanted the Doctor Who steel book, the 60th anniversary special, and I could only get it from Rare Waves website in the UK. Made it a lot easier because it made it a lot cheaper, plus they had sales on for Black Friday and I bought a couple of films for myself. Thank you very much. But at the same time, it was like $80 for the steel book and the two films I bought posted. Actually, I think it was 90 but it was $80 flat to have gotten the steel book from Amazon. So... Yeah, um, that sucked. But it was actually, like, really cheap postage. 
because uh, I think I added it to my cart by itself, the Doctor Who Steelbook, and it became like $65, because I think it was like 59 or $60, so it was only like 5 or $6 postage, which is pretty good, you know, especially for something coming from the UK. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the best thing I can say there is it'll suck, importing sucks, um, especially if a big brand like Sony does pull out, and of course, if, if physical media just dies in Australia... Like, I always think to myself, oh my god, I'm going to save so much money. <laughs> and I don't think so. Because, I mean, obviously I could say I could save a lot of money. The, the irony there being the obvious that, well, I've got to import more, which makes shit more expensive because I've got to import whatever. And if, and if I'm not importing myself, I'm buying from people who have imported and that's more expensive. So, like, what would have been a $30 to $40 blue 4K in Australia for Indiana Jones was like $50 from Dead End DVD because of importing fees and stuff. So, yeah, and I ordered the UK edition become, because it comes with a Blu-ray rather than the US edition. I think the UK edition was like 10 bucks cheaper as well, and that come, the US edition comes with a digital code. I'm not going to go for the digital code options. Like, I'm going to go for the, the, you know, the British one, mostly because Region B, Region B country, whatever, but also because it comes with a bonus Blu-ray disc with all the special features rather than shoving them onto a digital code to have to download later. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that because I can't do that, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's so much goddamn stress. If this happens, if Sony pulls out, I don't know what the hell we're going to do. We have enough homegrown brands, um, Umbrella, uh, Madman, Entertainment... Uh, imprint, of course, Fire Vision, their home, their whole brand. We have plenty of variety, and it's really nice to have that. Like, I don't think JB is just gonna fucking kill all physical media. It's not gonna happen like that. It, it it would be barbaric if they did. Like, I know they have a lot of sales on, but at the same time, a lot of people just buy during sales. I only recently discovered that if you buy something and there's a sale within 30 days, you can just go to the store with the receipt and just get them to refund you the percentage. And I did that today. I had bought a steelbook yesterday, which was $55. I went to JB today because it's now a 20% off in-store. I you know, brought them the receipt, whatever. They added an extra 10% off because there was like an extra 10% in store that wasn't applied online. So I got 30% off instead of just 10%. So instead of saving $11, I saved $15.40, which was great. I didn't need it, but I'm like, I'll, I'll take it. Like, I don't do that personally. I've never done that before. Turns out you can do that, which is great. What a great policy. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just... I'm just Letting the kind of process, because it's, it's a lot. A lot of Australians are angry, understandably so. Um, and again, this could just be a rumour. This could be like, in a month's time, we could find out that, no, nah, it's fine, nothing's, nothing's changing, Sony's not a bunch of windbags, it's cool. You know, um, but it could. It, it questions, it makes me question where where the where would they benefit like it might be cheap if I, it would obviously be a lot cheaper for them if they just discontinued all their films in Australia but retroactively what other service do they have to provide for us to watch their movies like logistically speaking disney at least had the excuse of disney plus you know which is still a website that they will remove shows and tv shows with no warning and with no physical media release Huzzah for bootlegs, I guess. But with Sony, what the fuck do they have? They don't have a streaming service. Do they have a streaming service? I'm pretty sure they don't have a... If they release it, they're going to have a streaming service. I'd be like, oh, my God. But they don't have a streaming service. I don't want them to have a streaming service. I'm good. Like, unless... I know a lot of their films would be on, like, Netflix and stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's just... Uh, it's scary... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do if that happens. Again, it's a lot of it's a play it by ear. If it doesn't happen, I don't have to stress. I don't have to worry. But say in terms of Disney, there's still a lot of people on like JB forums asking, hey, when are we going to get like Aliens and, uh, and you know, True Lies and stuff like that on 4K in Australia? 
and everyone has to be like, God, we have to tell you again, Disney aren't doing that. But the thing is, people don't know it's Disney. They, they forget that it's 20th Century Fox, which is now just 20th, 20th Fox? What the hell is it? 20th Century Movies? I don't know what the fuck they called it now, but it's that. But Disney. So now you don't get it at all. You know, it's like why they're not doing a, a complete set for Indiana Jones 5, I believe. They're not doing, like, a five-film set because there's, like, different rights holders for, like, Indiana Jones 5 compared to the original four. I know Lucasfilm was bought by Disney, but don't they all, don't they all own, the whole, own the whole thing? Or is it because Paramount does as well? So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Look, it doesn't matter anymore. Fuck it. If Sony pulls out, you know, it's just... It's not the end of the world, obviously. Importing still exists. There are definitely still options. All this, all that. I don't have to keep repeating the same shit. But it sucks. The general issue is, it sucks if they pull out. It sucks if JB stops doing Blu-rays. I don't think they would, but they might. Like, I've seen of a lot of years how little the Blu-ray sections are getting. You see less Blu-rays and more figurines and board games and pop finals. And the thing is, that they're kind of... It's not like they're, like, stripping everything down to one aisle, or like they have, like, in the US, of like, Best Buy and Walmart and whatever. Was it Best Buy or just... Was it Walmart as well? I don't know. But, like, those stores, how they would, like, reduce the amount of physical media stock. I know Best Buy is getting rid of it full stop. But, yeah, it's... I go to a couple of different JB Hi-Fi stores um, in Melbourne. Uh, the main one being... I don't want to say the main one because I don't want to give away where I live. <laughs> but for some variation. I've been to Southland. I've been to Chadston. Um, I've been to... Frankston as well. I've been to um, Knox uh, and Melbourne Central and Burke Street. Burke Street is like the best one to go to that I've seen in my time because it just kind of has everything and they don't seem to be minimizing. Uh, I haven't noticed any differences there. But like Melbourne Central, you notice it. It's, it's going down more and more. They've cut out more lanes and like squishing things in and replacing it with pop vinyls and action figures and shit, which is fine, you know, if that's your business, that's your business. CDs are booming, vinyls are booming, bigger slots for them, less slots for movies. You know, movies are in the back corners now, so, uh, there's one on Springvale, that's the same thing, they've just, it's all in the back corner, they've cut out a whole section now, it's just, that's all figurines and stuff, what used to be the, oh, here are the new Blu-rays and stuff, has now moved the whole shelf over. Um, yeah. I haven't noticed, I don't go to Frankston that often. Southland's, Southland's small now. Southland is like two, two shelves worth. Like, I mean, it's, it's like adjacent back and front, but, and they've got the side ones as well, but there's usually like sailed ones on the sides. So like two for 20, that kind of shit on one side. The other side is like international films and special interests, so sports and docos and stuff. Um, and sometimes anime. Uh, and it's, I think, from what I remember going there the other day, that was one, two, three, four, I think that was just four shelves for all of the movies in their whole place, including new releases, 4K, classics, um, anime, uh, horror, and A to Z. Um, and then on the sides you had special interests, um, Asian cinema and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's gotten small. That and, Melbourne, uh, that and Melbourne Central are getting really small. So it's a possibility, you know. It's the same as the factor of a lot of people have been finding a lot of older releases being brought back onto shelves, whether or not they're being pre-ordered in ahead of time, like, say, To Kill a Mockingbird. A lot of people were talking about that, like, oh, you know, the To, to Kill a Mockingbird's now out on Blu-ray. You should get it. You know, it's the new 60th anniversary or whatever. And I was looking at that thinking, because it's like a week ago, and I'm thinking... But the 4K came out like eight months ago because I bought it eight months ago. They had a sale on I bought it for like $22 or whatever, down from like 30 or some shit. I don't know. It was pretty cheap, 18 to 22 around that era. And I believe it comes with the DVD as well. I don't... The Blu-ray as well. I can't remember. But either way, if, even if it was just a 4K by itself, it still has all the special features or a good portion. It doesn't really matter about the nitty-gritty. But I remember getting it. And then seeing everyone talk about the Blu-ray, I'm thinking, why is everyone getting the Blu-ray instead of the 4K? Like, why are they talking about that, like, only the Blu-ray exists? And then I went on the website the other day, and the pre-order is there for the 4K. And I'm thinking, fuck, 
that was out months ago, and now it's gone and back again? Like, is this a, oh, it's sold out because we only had a small amount of stock, now we've seven months later have ordered it back in, or is it we found more stocks, so we're putting it back out on the shelf? Like, I don't know what's happening. I've heard rumors of that kind of stuff where they're like, oh, I found this one and that one, and people were saying that this wasn't on the website, and I couldn't find this on the website, but then it was here in the stock because some things they're like taking from the spare warehouses and just putting in the stores without telling anyone about it. So if you find it, you find it. Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. There's a lot of weird shit happening at JB. I'm not huge on it, but I'm still getting my movies and they're on sale. So I'm not, I'm not dissatisfied. If they remove movies altogether, well, then I'm bound to just go to Cinemaniacs and Dead End DVD. Uh, there's a new one that popped up in Victoria as well, obviously there's like Amazon and eBay and you can go with like Rare Waves. Rare Waves is pretty good. There was another one as well, uh, Chalky's Oz. Uh, there's a few on eBay that usually do the same shit. Sometimes their prices vary by a few dollars. Uh, they always import or, or you're importing yourself. So eBay's a surprisingly good option. Um, but yeah, so there was a new store that had popped up recently. They followed me on Instagram. Outrun DVD. So... Yeah, but that's just another one of those they're importing for you. So, like Dead End DVD and like Cinemaniacs. They've got a good website, though. I like the formatting of it. it, it it's really smooth. Um, I haven't found that with both Cinemaniacs or Dead End DVDs. Their websites aren't perfectly smooth, but Outrun's pretty good. So, I don't know. But there are options. So, let's hope for the best. Be optimistic. I don't know. We live in a world of terror, but the uh, first world problems of not being able to watch movies is not really relevant, I guess, when you say you've got Netflix. So, I don't know. It is what it is. We'll have to see what happens and uh, hope for the best. So, I'll keep you posted when I can, and I'll see you next time. Adios.